Okay, we're in Namibia, here in Vintuk at the break roller tester in the picture. Okay, unfortunately the brake roller tester doesn't work. Nor does that one over there. And I'm making a point here because we found faults here. Now, we cannot go to court. No one can go to court on this because you need the printed out evidence provided by a brake roller tester, the visual. But I have Jacques could tell you from uh, BPW. Jacques, explain to us what you've seen here. Well, okay, first uh, on, on, on the rear trailer, you can see the shoes being loose on this one. You can see the gap there. If you go to the opposite side of uh, a piece of the, the brake shoes also broken off. Uh, if you go to this side, you'll see the gap totally different. It means it's going to be uneven braking. Uh, left and right going to be in balance because of the fact that this one is uh, taking 0 0.0 a second to get to the drum, where this one will take longer to get to the drum to start braking. Now, okay. if, you, if you move forward to the this one won't have break in there. Uh, I, 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 to me, I, I reckon with that gap, it's going to fail anyway. Never mind the imbalance break in there. It yeah. will fail, yeah. And if you feel on the drum, the drum is also very uneven. Wow, it's got in there, eh? It's as well. And on the other side, you'll feel in better condition. Uh, that's it's smooth, that's good. It's, it's not too smooth. It's not yeah, glazed, it's still a cut. The compared to that. Compared to that. That's like a mountain so. compared to an ice rink. That's it, yeah. Okay, and you also got a problem at the back there. On that one, you got a chip. Uh, uh, a bit of a chip. That's tube. also yeah. a little bit of metal that's missing. Okay, but that one's okay there. Yeah. Right, let's go to the front. Now, the problem is, uh, look, this is quite tragic because we've got those faults and you can't really test them scientifically. That's observation, that's, that's knowledge. But you can't put it, put it, uh, get the actual official test that stands up in a court of law. Unfortunately, do not. The black rally testers are like, having problems with. They they can't test properly. Uh, so I think it's basically if we blame the transport owners and the transporters of a lack of maintenance, we can in the same breath blame the government for lack of maintenance on the rally testers. Absolutely, you can't enable the guys. You can't expect them to do the job without the tools. Let's go up front. Precisely. Okay, like you go ahead of me and stop us when you got the. Because you've been under this truck for quite a while. Yeah, uh, Patrick, if you have a look on top here, uh, you'll see. Uneven boosted, yeah, different size Uneven, it's a long stroke versus uh, short stroke. So again, you're going to have uh, an uneven or imbalanced braking, uh, which is not correct. And if you feel there's no backing plates, not on one of these wheels if you feel this one is like glass it's seriously okay. uh, glazed uh, can you try get in there yeah that is that is it's seriously glazed eh? so it's not gonna yeah. uh, do pr proper braking this even side. with the it's also like glass if you're not mistaken both of them yeah, yeah? Uh, so that's like an ice rink eh? correct yeah and again you'll see two different size boosters long stroke on this side Short stroke on this side. And so even braking again. And even braking again now. Yeah. And of so course the braking cannot be more than 30% difference on the axle, eh? That's correct. That's right. Yeah. So, and, and, and once again, if you go in, you feel this one is glazed and is, uh, I would say the drum is a little bit uneven. Uh, Trying to get in there. There's a, there like a, a yeah. groove on there as well. So the, the brake shoe's not making contact with the complete brake drum as it's supposed to. Yeah. And again, okay. smooth. Right. Also, so also the low tensing valve behind you. Hold on. The low tensing valve behind you is not connected and there's no air in it. Yeah. So that is not working either. So basically what the low tensing valve does it is the measures the load on, on the vehicle and it applies the correct force as per load. Uh, this one will break as if it's got full load even when it is even when it's empty. empty. Yeah. Uh, that will give you yeah. uh, break bounds on the road which will eventually damage yeah. the road surface as well. And of course in Namibia we're not sure whether it's an absolute legal requirement. In South Africa it is. That would be a discontinuation, is it? In South Africa. In South Africa, yeah. yeah. We're not too sure in Namibia. We try to find out. But hesitation, but that's how we train in here, not even the cops now. Okay, 
So and that's it. Now the yeah, and you got more. Yeah, there's automatic slack adjuster versus manual slack adjuster. Okay, let me get a. This is a common problem we find all over the place. We have a mixture of automatic and manual slack adjuster. Of course, uh, in Namibia, we found out that it doesn't require by law, as in South Africa, from 20, uh, what, February 14, 2004, uh, automatic slack adjuster and ABS. Years, yeah. Yeah. Right, so that's it. The frustration, of course, yeah, is that that is all visible. And I wanted the video of this to make it clearly visible, how clear it is. But you can't test it. Uh, uh, you can't actually get the evidence no, which is needed through a brake roller tester, which we are in the pit of. And there is the brake roller tester. Uh, back there are the rollers. Let me just show you. That's the rollers. There. But they are US for useless. Doug, and, and anything else you want to say? Patrick, I've spoken to some of the examiners here. Uh, uh, they are as frustrated as what you are because they, they've got the tools, but they're not in working condition. So they are complaining that they can't do their job the way that they're supposed to. So they Abs are also complaining. Absolutely. I mean, it's crazy. You, you, no one can do the job without the correct tools. Precisely. You cannot take out a flat nose screwdriver and hope, or oh no, the other way around, eh? Start a screwdriver and get a flat nose <laughs> screw out of there. You've got to have the right tools to do the job. And they don't have them yet. We will take it up with the authorities. Good. Zach, thank you, my bud. Thanks, man. Good. It found any seeds down here. <laughs>